Hi everyone and welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make the Kulita bracelet and this was designed by you Meg Meg on Instagram. I will have her name in the description box below and I'll show it to you in just a second. Um, first I wanted to show you this bracelet. So it does incorporate alpha bands which are these little small bands that are rainbow colors in the middle. Um, if you don't have them you can use cap bands but I think it'll look a lot neater with um, alpha bands and it'll just be all together like a neater design I think. Um, but anyway, this is her profile. It is u.megmeg. Like I said, I will have her name in the description box below, but for now you can scroll through her Instagram profile, um, like her photos, and give her a follow for me. And we'll go ahead and get started. So what you're going to want today is a hook. You don't necessarily have to have a double ended hook, um, but I'm going to use that today. And you're also going to want some alpha bands for the center and some border bands for the outside. You're also going to want a couple of holder C-clips. So I have these two, but you might want um, like four overall just to hold your bracelet in case you mess up or if you need to go back and fix something. Um, let's go ahead and get started, I guess. So I used the rainbow in this bracelet, but today I'm just going to be using regular white bands. Um, I will show you where to put your colors for the rainbow once I get started. Um, but anyway, go ahead and start by capping a border band, which I used black for here. I'm using penguin black today. And cap one of those bands and put a C-clip on it. And this might seem a little bit weird, but definitely do put a C-clip on it because it's important when we start the bracelet. Otherwise, the cap band is going to come apart and the bottom is going to be so super messy. Um, but anyway, once you do that, go ahead and take a penguin black band and pull that through one of those cap band loops. You're going to go ahead and take a C-clip and attach it to those two loops and clip it. Once you clip it, pull it off of your hook. It should just look like that. Then take your other penguin black band and pull it through the first loop, or the only other cap band loop. Once you do that, go ahead and take one of your white bands and to start, this would be my red band here. So take one of those bands, put it on the hook, and then over the black band, pull that off, and then reattach the black band like so. Then once you do that, take a black band and pull it through just like you would a regular single chain. Now you're going to start the sequence. You're going to take two white bands, and if you're doing a rainbow or a pattern, you would take one red band and one orange band, and the next one you take one orange, one yellow, one yellow, one green, so you just take um, one of each color. You'll put this on your hook, and then over top of the penguin black band, and take that black band off, and also release those two whites, and then reattach your black, so they are both looped onto this black band. Take another band, pull it through, <clears throat> pull it through the, uh, just like a single chain. Then take two more, pull it over the hook and over the black band, and pull that black band off and drop those two whites. Then take another black band, just simply pull it through. Then take two more white bands. Pull it over and drop those two off. And you're going to continue this until it's long enough to fit around your wrist and then at the end it is a little bit different so I'll show you that. Um, I'll have my last sequence of oops, alpha bands here. So you're going to push those over and pull that off. Then you're going to take your last band and pull it through. And once you get to the end, we're going to do just one band like we did at the beginning. So take that last band, pull it over the hook and over the black, pull both of those off and drop off the white. Once you've done that, go ahead and take another C-clip and just clip this off. Pull that off the hook. So now you have this. Now you're going to turn your bracelet so that your white bands are kind of facing up and if you folded the bracelet like this, that your white bands would be on the inside. And we're going to do that. So go ahead and put your hook through 
the loop that you pulled through the cap in, but don't put it through the cap in. You're going to take your C-clip off and pay really, really close attention to this part because this is the part I keep messing up on. Um, so what you're going to do is take a or take your hook and put it through the first three white bands. Now this first band is going to be on this first single chain and the next two should be on the next single chain. Make sure you're not mixing any bands from farther along on the bracelet. But once you're at this point what you're going to do is take this single white band and cross it over this second white band. And I'm going to turn this around but you can um, do this however is easiest for you. Once you have that band crossed take this first penguin black loop off and slip this one white band onto that black band. Once you're done that, turn it back around because we're going to work from this side for the rest of the bracelet. What you're going to do, take your hook, put it through the next two white bands. And once you have this through the next two white bands, make sure that it is just those two from this next single chain. And you're going to take a black band, pull that through, <clears throat> all six loops on your hook, and then before you close, you're going to pick up the second loop and the fourth loop. The fourth loop can be either of these two, like if I chose for my fourth loop to be this one, that's okay. Um, just make sure that when you pick up the second loop that it's not this band that's crossed, that it's this band that hasn't been crossed yet. So once you have that picked up, you'll reattach your black and then pull these two whites over to the outside like so. And then you'll have a crossed band here. This band will always be in front crossing over this way. So just make sure that that's how it looks and you don't cross any bands under that you don't mean to. You'll take your next two white bands, take a penguin black band and pull it through all six loops on your hook before you close, the lighting is really bad on this, but pick up the second band. So it's not going to be this band that's already crossed. It's going to be this second band and the fourth band. So you should be picking up one band from the previous single chain and then one band from the single chain that you just um, have your white bands on, or that you just put white bands through. Once you do that, you're going to rearrange that to the outside. It'll look like this. Continue all the way up, just taking two bands each time. Taking a black band through all six loops. Picking up this second band and the fourth band. Reattaching and then rearranging those two white bands. And then once you get up to the end, you're just going to lift this last um, white band. There's only going to be three white bands now. We'll take a black through all five loops and you're only going to lift this middle or the second loop. Once you do that, reattach and then pull this white to the outside. It'll make your last cross or your last X. Then take one last penguin black band through all three loops on the hook and reattach. So you'll have something like this and now you're going to want to take a separate C-clip and attach it to this penguin black band. Make sure that you don't attach these two together because we still need to do stuff with this for the border. Um, but for now you should have something like this and you'll know that it it's right when you don't have any like extra loops all messed around or messed up or moved around or anything. So once you have this center piece it's going to be a little bit loose but you're going to go to one side and you're going to go through this first single chain loop. You're going to grab the cap band loop as well as this alpha band loop. So you're going to have two loops right there. Take a black band, pull it through those two loops. And this is for the border, so if you wanted to change different color for the border, you can do that. I'm just going to keep the same color. Um, you're going to pull that through, and then you're going to go up into this next chain, and you're going to grab this band that goes underneath or it's on top here. So going up it's going to be this top band. I'm going to pull that through and then pull a black band through all three loops on your hook. So it should look like this. 
and you'll go up to the next one again pulling this band that goes underneath or this band that's on the top just like this so it's going to be technically the bottom part of the X that you're pulling out um, you just have to kind of look and make sure that you're grabbing the right one and you'll take a black band through those three go up to the next one Make sure, you're going, <clears throat> make sure you're going in between these two black loops and grabbing that band. And then once you grab it, just pull a band through all three. When you get up to this one, this will be the last one that you pull through. So you'll grab this white band, pull it through the middle of those two black loops. Take another black and pull it through all three loops. Then you're not going to pull this one um, band up here because, it, because it's technically the top part of the X. So instead what you're going to do is take one of these penguin black loops and pull it off of the C-clip. And then loop these two border bands into it. And then reattach the other end. And then you're going to reclip the other end of this band. So once you have that, you can go ahead and pull it off, and you'll have something like this on one side. Then you're going to just flip it around to the other side. You don't have to work up the back or anything like that, because it's going to be the same border on both sides. Next, you're going to take your hook and put it through this first um, single chain here. Remember, you're grabbing the cap band and the white alpha band. This is only for the first section, though. Take a black band through those two loops and reattach then go up to this next single chain loop grab this bottom part of the white band or the bottom X then you'll pull it through like so and reattach now this band, uh, this part is going to be the front X band so before it was the back one that's underneath this time it's going to be in front um, to so just put your band through, or put, put your hook through and grab the band. Just the um, easiest way for me to remember is you're always grabbing the top band, or the bottom part of the X. And then just pulling a band through. And just continue. Grab a band. Pull a band through all three loops. And go up. Again, making sure you're going in between these two black loops and not grabbing it like from the outside or anything. Make sure you go in between and grab it. And pull a band through. And then remember, you're not going to grab this top part of the X. Instead, you're just going to take this penguin black loop out of the C-clip. And then pull these two border loops over and onto that band and reattach that and then at this point when you've done both sides you don't have to reclip that you can just take the c-clip off and then you'll grab the other side here with the c-clip on it you can take that c-clip off as well and then once you have four loops on your hook you can just take one last black band and pull it through all four and attach your C-clip to this last band. Now obviously you still do have a C-clip on this other end, so you want to use this one to attach to the other end if you're going to um, hook the entire bracelet. So if I were to hook this entire bracelet, I would take this bottom C-clip and then attach it to the top. Don't ever take this C-clip off the bottom because otherwise your cap band will come undone. Um, and the entire bottom of your bracelet will pretty much fall apart, so you don't want that. Um, but this is what it should look like at the end. If any of your alpha bands end up getting twisted, don't worry. You can just untwist them. They're a little bit sticky, but they're not too difficult to untwist. Um, they're just really thick, I guess. So I'll fix that later. But um, that's what it should look like. Obviously, this is a smaller bit, but... That's going to do it for this video, so thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, make sure to give a thumbs up and subscribe. I will have you Meg Meg's name in the description box below. Make sure to check her out on Instagram, give her a follow for me, but that is going to do it for this video, so I hope to see you next time.